This is insane. It's crazy. A Chesterfield woman is reunited with her wallet that was stolen 75 years ago. We've been talking about the story all morning. It was found in Centralia, Illinois, with a stash of other stolen wallets. We got the woman's reaction on camera when she finally got her wallet back. Amazing. Some renovations come with surprises, but this one came with a mystery. I think I've watched one too many episodes of CSI and stuff, so I'm like, uh, you know, the mystery of the intrigue of it all. While turning the old Centralia High School in Illinois into a new church, a plumber found a problem. He had demoed out part of the old girls' bathroom here on the second floor in this old building. When he cut into the vent, um, just a whole bunch of old wallets fell out. 15 to be exact. Someone shoved them into a heat duct behind a toilet. We've tried to categorize them uh, by the different names. According to the school IDs, they were all female students from the mid 1940s. Pastor Seth Baltzell believes they were stolen about 75 years ago and have been sitting there ever since. If there was any cash in the wallets, it appears the thief took it. War's ending, you know, so there's lots of things from, um, you know, pictures from soldiers. Not knowing what to do with 15 wallets from the 1940s, the pastor posted a picture of the wallets on Facebook along with a list of names, hoping to find the owners. He thought it was a shot in the dark. Been shared a thousand times, and then 2,000, and 3,000 times, and people are commenting. So actually lots of people have reached out, and it's relatives including the relatives of 89-year-old Betty June Sissop. She grew up in Centralia and now lives about 85 miles away in Chesterfield. So the pastor wanted me to hand deliver this to you. Well, thank you. Well, I'm so excited. I can't believe after all of these years that I, it looks like it's old. <laughs> Do you remember this? I remember it was red and I remember I lost my wallet that's me with a little boy by the name of Jimmy Kane, and I had a crush on him. And I must have been about in the third grade. So you <laughs> kept fourth. a picture of your crush in there? That's so cute. Oh my goodness, look at the boy's pictures I have. It's quite a shock and it's really exciting to see these pictures. And they took all the money, huh? No money, but getting her stolen wallet back 75 years later? It's unbelievable. It is. It's really priceless. It is. Well, the pastor of City Hope Church in Centralia, Illinois, is looking for the other wallet owners. He's been in contact with several family members, but Betty is the only one so far huh. who still lives in the area. Wow, that's amazing. It is. It's so cool you got to be part of that story too. It, it was, and you know, she was 14 when the wallet was oh, wow. stolen. So, she you know, pictures good. of boys she had crushes on, but there was also um, a picture of her best friend, the only photo of her best friend that, you know, exists uh, that she has now and then also a picture of her brother um, and he's passed away so it was really cool to get to see her look at those pictures because they didn't have cell phones back then right they put all their memories in their wallets you know oh my it's a, gosh. it was a different time and they didn't carry purses like we have today oh so the, all the girls had these leather wallets which i thought was really interesting so like her whole life was yeah. taken oh yeah no. well yeah now she has it back i know cool story